star sisters, jewel star, hidden beauty, star, bright and beautiful leader, tall star, lovely lookout, were released on January 2012 in the Masters of the Universe Classics line. Behold, Star Sisters in the pretty big package. Well, at least bigger than it, it was needed to be packaged. Yeah, so here are the Star Sisters, but who are the Star Sisters? So, a little history about these, well, girls or sisters. Well, in 1980s, there were, well, the animated series Shira, Princess of Power, like many of you know, especially if you have, well, watched my previous reviews. Well, in that animated series, these girls did appear in one episode called Bo's Magical Gift. And their well appearance was about the same you see here. Of course, a little bit more less, well, having less detail because of animation limitations at the time. Okay, that animated series appearance was very brief, but before that animated series appearance, I think it was before, it may be after, so don't shoot me well or hunt me down if I'm wrong, but there was this toy catalog or something where prototypes of Star Sisters were presented. Well, those prototypes never made it into actual production they, and the Princess of Power toy line never got Star Sisters. But, well, still fans have wanted those characters for many, many years, and finally they are in plastic form. Of course, fans are, well, some fans are not that happy about Star Sisters, well, these Star Sisters, or how they look, because they look nothing like the prototypes. Yes, because this appearance like I said, it's similar to cartoon appearance, but the exact appearance you see here is from one poster that came with, I'm not sure, came with what, but I think it was some kind of magazine or something like that. And, well, so these are based on a poster appearance uh, and like I said some fans didn't or weren't so happy about that. Personally I'm happier, happy about this appearance because it's closer to animated appearance and I'm a huge filmation fan myself. Yeah. But, like it or not how they look, the Star Sisters are here, finally, in plastic form. And while many fans don't like how they look, they still are happy that they at least got them. And, well, who knows? Mattel may make repaints or variants of these someday, but that remains to be seen. Yeah.
Well, there is also those fans who don't like Star Sisters at all. But that's a completely another story and I'm not going into that. Yeah. So, that's a brief history of Star Sisters. And let's take a look, closer look of this package. And this package is, well, almost identical to one that Swifty was packed in. Only difference between this package and Swifty's is that the depth, depth this dimension is smaller on the Star Sisters. It was wider on the, this way with Swifty. Yeah. But now let's take a look. Here's the this title card or whatever this is. And then here's the Princess of Power logo. And those who have see, seen my other Princess of Power figure reviews from the Masters of the Universe Classics line knows what this logo means and they probably can guess from what I was telling earlier about the history of these characters. And uh, here you can see Jewelstar, Starla and Tallstar. And empty space and glory bird. Okay, that's it on the front. And then on the back side, first let's raise the camera. First you can see here the first time ever the Masters of the Universe 30 years anniversary logo which has replaced the regular Masters of the Universe Classics logo on the card packs and box packs. Well, at least for 2012 I imagine that it will change back when 2013 starts. Okay, so that's the logo. And of course there's the Familia Collect Them All. And then there are characters from Shira World, from Ethereum bad guys and good guys and at least this time metal has been logical on their figure choices okay so then on the bottom well there is the star sisters of course and before going to buy to bio, this is how the poster looked like, uh, and this is from where the appearance of these has came for. Okay, now it's time for bio. Let's lower this a little bit and here's the bio. Okay and here 
is the mattycollector.com logo and evil smiling matty and some other things you should know all about about this point okay but that's it about this package so let's go to open figure portion of this review all right and here they are star sisters out of their package and let's start with articulation and let's put these two away because tall star has the most articulation so there's the standard wrist elbow well bicep well it's not exactly maybe bicep and then shoulder well the hair is on the way but it does move the head well it really doesn't go anywhere but side to side then there's the waist twist yes this is the new female 2.0 body type where this rotating motion is available and then legs go like this go like this and then there is the knee well of course knees because there are two of them and then boot rotates like this and this is the only of three whose boot actually turns Stala and Julesta does not have this rotating joint. And then <clears throat> and then she has the ankle up and down very very stiff. Okay, and let's put this back on. Yeah. Well, that's the articulation. And since we have already Julestar, uh, tall star here with us, let's go through her a little bit more. Let's look the details on her. Well, the boots are. purple and there's these things and like you can see this and also this is easy to take off and we'll come back to that a little bit later then there's red and blue and this well, blues and purples on this figure are kind of, they have a little bit kind of metallic look on them. Not bad looking and not bad colors. Though the wrists, when you rotate them, feels like they're going to snap off. They're kind of, I don't know kind of small and fragile feeling probably are not but 
at least they feel like that. The head movement, like I mentioned before, is hindered by this hair. And up and down movement is kind of no go because of this. And why is this? Well, we'll have to go to her accessories at this point. Well, you can see that there's this kind of thing and this kind of thing here. Well, you can with tall stuff there comes these kind of pieces and you can put them for example one is meant to her neck you can put it like that and then like head like this and voila the neck has been elongated I'm sure that if you want it, you can remove this and use this head like any other female head. Well, that needs some help from hair dryer and something else probably. I can take it off just by my finger. Let's put that back. And like I said, there's those extension pieces and there are more, more of them. Then there's two of like this. They go to her arms and they pop off like this. So Let's put other one here and other one here. Oh, come on. Okay. Now the arms are longer. And then there's two pieces like this, or these two pieces, not two of these, two times two, but just these two. And they go here. Okay, and now we have a all grown tall star and this pe these pieces are stackable means that if you have bought more packs or just are getting more of these extension pieces you can make this, these limbs longer and longer and longer. Yeah. Also Tolsta has one other accessory and it's this lollipop looking spark, sparkles having wand or staff. Okay, and let's put it on this. And so we have it. Fully grown tall star with the staff. Yeah. 
Okay, let's keep tall star back there. And let's take a next, a next character, sister. It's time for jewel star. This is my favorite of three. Has nice translucent parts. Especially the cape is not nice transparent. Oh, though these translucent parts are kind of smelly. And yes, I mean it. Especially when I took this figure out of package, it smelled horrible. It, it was like a Codis figure that's by the way made also from translucent plastic. We, and that also had had horrible smell when I opened her. It's not as bad as, as it was now when I opened this figure, but it's still... If you smell the cape on purpose, it's bad. Yeah. Since we already went through the articulation, there's no point doing that again. Well, actually, there's one point of articulation I didn't show. It's this side to side on the ankles. It, it's also on tall star, but I just forgot to show it. So this figure is, well, like you can see, it's pretty much this pink. Then there's these, well, I would call them purple myself. The things, but it's mostly pink. Like some are calling bubblegum pink. Well, most bubblegum I'm, I'm using, they are it's white, so yeah. But I like this pink color, and of course, these translucent things are nice. These purplish translucent bits are made from harder plastic when these pink ones are kind of gummy rubbery kind of plastic a little bit soft not that soft but rubbery anyway this head thing is especially rubbery the cape is soft and flexible and so on it's not removable so it's permanently on and this hair is soft and very, very fragile. I'm not, I don't think I can show, but, but on my figure, there's already a crack here where this ponytail is attached to the head. So, you should probably be very, very careful with that, this ponytail part. The head is, and face is nice. Some are saying this looks like a man. I don't know, not in my opinion. Yes, they probably are better looking female figures on this line. Especially my favorite, the regular teal up. But this is no manly looking face, in my opinion. I don't think I showed Tall Star's face closely, so let's see. 
not a not a bad face either. Okay. That's actually that's not because also Jewel Star has a staff pretty much like tall stars just different color and if I was 20 years younger I would so so eat this wand yes and I really mean eat it I would probably suck it and try to chew it actually it's a little bit it's not it's I don't know how I can describe it but it's not it's interesting feeling this head piece or this star piece on these staffs nice and I actually in my own mind when I first saw saw these star sisters or this pack I was thinking about that I probably will call them um, lollipop sisters because of these wa wands that looks like lollipops and then there's the third sister still Stala which I don't know it it's not a bad looking figure it's just a little bit feels like it's not be it does not belong in this group the colors are much different and it doesn't really have uh, anything special I mean Tolstar has extension thing going on and well Julstar is having the, all those gems and crystal things but still let's look Stala Well, like you can see, her color scheme is mostly red and yellow. Well, there's some orange and even, well, it's more metallic yellow than gold. Well, the hair is not the same, very gummy soft plastic that was used on tool star, but much harder. And the face looks like this. Okay, and then Stala comes with, well, a weapon, surprise, surprise, a yellow wand staff thing. Of course, these figures have much new tooling so of course it's no wonder that their weapons share the tool so at least some saving could have been done of course Stala comes with 
another accessory a stand well okay it's not the stand that's the actual accessory uh, thing but this stand is nice looking and you probably can guess which kind of accessory goes with this thing this a shiny purple shimmering Zoa repaint bird glory bird looks very nice and like you can see this part here is well removable and it's a Zoa repaint nice repaint but still a repaint only thing that is kind of annoying is that this thing here is very very different shade of pink than this other part of this bird it kind of stands out But for those who have wanted Glory Bird for years, it's a good accessory. And at least this one fits to this group perfectly. Actually, you could think that this is Jewel Star's bird when, because the coloring is the closest of that. But according to Bio, it's more of Stala's pet. Bad bird. Okay, good bird. Okay, so here are the star sisters all three of them and my personal opinions on them well there's no denying they look girly and pink and definitely something that belongs to princess of power well they look nice and maybe because I like these that will also explain why I like the new My Little Ponies and that's all I'm going to say about that in this video but yeah well uh, some of the articulation is kind of loose on these especially this leg here and Jewel Star has kind of loose arms especially elbows are very or kind of loose so that's kind of not good And, well, I kind of feel that they should have come with more accessories, but like I said, these girls do have a lot of new tooling, so, of course, something had to go, so no more accessories probably was the way of course it kind of does feel a bit much to pay $60 or 66 if you are not a sub subscriber or buying out of sub for this so so I can understand why 
some why some were against this pack of course there are those who just didn't want this character so I'm not with those but I can understand them also I do but this pack gave us three female into our ranks so yeah there's not much these are not bad figures not the best there is either and my points to this pack and trio as a whole is, well three and a half from five so it's not a bad thing kind of disappointing that well the the leg articulation is kind of little bit disappointing I mean no boot articulation on Stala or Toolstar and all these have uh, battleground Tila legs that are not rotating 180 on this direction and then the fragile ponytail is kind of annoying and of course losing some head articulation on tall stuff is not fun and this pelvis crotch piece well it looks kind of odd well that's not what looks odd it actually how these legs are looking with the that piece that's odd but other than those things these are nice to have well do I recommend these figures well if you're princess of power or female figure fan absolutely of course like I said the $60 price on on the pack well more, more almost 70 if you have if you buy them from magic collector plus shipping of course may be a little bit much and some might prefer a single releases but yes I do recommend these if you can afford that is like any other toy if you can afford and want then go ahead get them these are well at the moment are not available at magicollector.com because they were sold out or pulled out or whatever not sure I don't care they are not available and well since this are included in the metals no reissue policy no idea if reissue ever comes maybe there is some kind of reissue in form of repaints or some leftover stock is uh, sold who knows but it, the best bet is to get these from secondary market yeah but that's about it well for this review anyway We'll see each other next time, but until then, it's goodbye for now.